No! Come back! Why? Was my wallet escaping me? Because so many good sets. Hey guys, welcome to the Cool Factor. This is Mike. Uh, news are dropping heavily today and actually this week because LEGO is waking up. It's spring. First day of spring was like, what, yesterday or something? And we get fat drops on, of everything that is uh, relevant to AFOLs like me. Yes, the Space Shuttle uh, Discovery. I want to say Columbia. Columbia was kind of teased, but we are actually getting Discovery STS-31 mission together with Hubble Telescope. 10, 283, Space Shuttle Discovery, 2,354 pieces. A big one, a big model, a fat display piece. Yes, $2,200, uh, uh, 180 euro, 170 pounds, and Canadian, 270. Available April 1st from lego.com. I do hope it's not an early April Fool's joke, because when I go there on April 1st, I better see full shelves of these guys so I can immediately get one. The set is available on lego.com, you can see the landing page with everything. The box is the black, the blackness, the beautiful, elegant blackness. Uh, just a quick uh, first impression, yes, sizable. A kind of a weird sticker place, I mean stickers are plentiful by the way, so that's a big uh, kind of a no-no about this set, which might throw off some fans. The stickers are plentiful. I don't think the prints, except for the canopy in the front, the, the actual heat windshield, more like a heat shield, am I right? Is the printed piece, but uh, the everything else might be a sticker. Maybe the USA signs, I'm gonna try to look for the edges for the sticker, are actual uh, prints, but you can see the discovery name and the NASA logo in the back, as you will see in the other pictures, are all stickers. However, the great thing about this is we get uh, multiple display options here. Two stands, actually three, because there is a third stand coming for the Hubble telescope that you can use to display it in the actual cargo bay, but there is a stand for the shuttle, stand for the Hubble telescope, two plaques displaying the Hubble telescope and the Space Shuttle Discovery STS-31, which is great, so there are multiple options to display this thing. And this is what I mentioned, you get an extra bricks to create a pole where the arm, operating arm, is actually installing the Hubble telescope on the orbit. So yeah, I think many people will use that one just to save space on the shelf. Uh, and uh, it's gonna look great. You can also see the silver lining of the interior of the bay door, which is not printed or anything. It's gonna be a giant stick of uh, sheet of stickers um, making that effect, which might be a bit of a tricky situation to apply those nicely and get the edges right. By the way, Lego already made a designer video. It's up there. It's basically a full-fledged review with all the details and everything. It does mention some really cool things about the set and I really like how they signed these guys, not an actual astronaut, in case you didn't know. This is like the best thing ever. It has a spring operated landing gear so you can deploy all landing gears at once and flaps are also working using one of the engines to rotate the, the, and use the flaps, which is amazing. Also the landing uh, flaps and the vertical stabilizer, as you can see, he's moving it. So all the details you can add actually an air brake for landing uh, and all the details are there. So yes, everything is that's supposed to work, it's working. It does have the detailed crew cabin with computers and seats for flight controllers, the pilots and everything. It actually had two decks in the cabin, um, in case you don't know, which is also portrayed in the set. You can remove the cockpit and you're gonna be able to see underneath. And also they mentioned they made three specific elements for this set. The bay door element, used multiple times, is a special mold. It's very thin as these guys is showing, so they can have a lot of space inside for the Hubble telescope to fit. Also, you can see he's holding the corner, uh, kind of like curved corner uh, brick, which is new. It's great. And he's mentioning the canopy is also printed. So that's going to be a print piece. There you go. You can see the shot. I mean, yeah, they're going out of their way to make sure that they have the exact pieces they need. They're just having so much fun while talking about this. I will be so nerdy while working on such set. And I guess these guys are just having tons of fun just doing that alone. Look at the size of this thing. It's amazing. He mentions also that they use the most silver elements ever in a Lego set uh, because of the Hubble telescope. It's full silver, so that's really awesome to, to hear. Uh, I guess many people will just go past the sticker problem. You can see here all the printed uh, solar arrays and everything. Most people will just forget about the sticker situation and go for the set because of the amount of silver pieces you are getting uh, with the shuttle. Production, pause right here. Yes, you guys see that thing right there? Is that a, a teaser for something? Perhaps. 
I don't know, seems like a life-size helmet for something, maybe reminds me of, well, an X-Wing pilot's helmet, perhaps? I don't know, that may be just a little um, prop, just for the shot, whatever it is, just an early office, guys working on a space shuttle model, but we don't know, I think it might be something, so pay attention. Yep, and here is the frame, showing how many silver elements are being used in this set. That's a lot. And in many cases I think that people will be using that form to display it, have a Hubble telescope in the uh, cargo bay being deployed to the orbit. I think that's gonna be nice, not only a space saver, but also an iconic display to highlight this specific STS-31 mission. It's gonna be something for sure. Like, what do you guys think? Are you guys getting it? Day one, camping at the Lego store trying to get it? I have no idea, but I certainly gonna be paying attention to my wallet to see if it comes back so I can actually buy it. Uh, after some, some buys this, this month, we need a pook, there is more Star Wars stuff coming and oh my god, I don't even know, I think I'm gonna have to like uh, eat ramen for a month or something and, and like, I don't know, this studio just gonna be full of stuff. I won't be able to afford. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is this a good set? Might be the best, one of the best space sets that LEGO has done recently. We did have space shuttles in the past. We have this, we had a Saturn V and this basically completes the NASA legacy of LEGO sets, in my opinion, for this modern day and age with modern LEGO building techniques and newer pieces and just better display value overall the, compared to anything that was done within the space shuttle genre or the space genre in the past. The comment section is open below, let me know what you guys think. I love you all, see you in the next one, peace out, bye.